Alright, what's going on guys? It's Boy Shop Nation and today what we are going to be doing is we're going to have Taylor Heineke as the starting quarterback. Let's go, baby! Starting quarterback for the Colts in this franchise experiment. As you guys know, already a bunch of rumors around the internet surfing about what quarterbacks can do to what teams and whatnot. So, I'm doing this little series where I'll just put random quarterbacks on the Colts. As you guys do know, I am a Colts fan. So I'll put them on the Colts and see how they do with this team surrounding them. So with that being said, let's go ahead and let's start off this rebuild. Or not rebuild, but this little experiment. First I have to move... Why, why do they always put DeForest Buckner's rush right in? Or Darius Leonard? My goodness. Okay, with that being said, let's go ahead now let's get started. Let's go ahead and sim. We'll sim to the midseason point to see what the Colts' record will be at the midseason mark with Taylor Heineke as the starting quarter. And hopefully, he's good. We will see. If you guys can't hear anything in the background, I am so sorry. <laughs> let's see. Oh, let's go. The Colts are actually 4 and 3. Over 500. Taylor Heineke. What's his touchdown to pick ratio? 10 to 9. Ooh. That's a little tough there, buddy. He'll probably have like 18 picks at the end of the year. Okay. So we checked his stats. Let's go ahead now and send him to the playoffs. We're still very much in the playoff race. This stuff seems pretty slow. I mean, I have my PS4, so it's going to seem slow, but you know. This is what it is. Week 17, we made the playoffs at 10 and 6. My goodness, let's go. Taylor Heineke is an absolute glitch. The GOAT. 3,900 passing yards, 28 passing touchdowns, 14 picks. Colts made the playoffs with these. Jonathan Taylor and Naheem Hines split carries. Wow. Okay. Receiving Trey Burton had over 1,000 yards. Nice. That's good. Okay, so let's go ahead and sim this wild card round versus the Browns. And we lost 35-28. But we did better with Heineke as the starter quarterback already as Mitchell Trubisky as a starting quarterback, which is kind of crazy. I'm not going to lie. Advancing to offseason, I'm going to have to use Coach XP for like player retention or something because not schemes. No, I messed up. Frackalicious, dude. Okay, let's go spend coach XP. And um uh, player retention. Oh, I don't even have that much stuff. All right, tight end. And we'll do we can't do wide receiver crap. Um well, we can't do anything. Frack, dude. Defensive lineman. And then we'll do defensive back. Okay, let's hurry up and sign these guys back. Marlon Mack, I'm gonna let go. Good player, but don't need you. So let's go ahead to sign these guys back real quick. He's gonna reject. Yep, of course he did. Mm, this dude out of his mind, bro. Oh, dude. Even with the freaking defensive backs resigned influence on, it still doesn't matter. Okay, if this is going to happen, I'm just going to put auto to signing people back. I don't know why they make it so hard for people to resign back. It's kind of insane. I'm not even going to lie. Okay, we got Molly Cox back. I'm just gonna let Trey Burton walk. Uh, let's get Anthony Walker Jr. back. We get TJ Carrier back because we're gonna need him now. Because freaking, dude, really? What? <laughs> oh my goodness, <laughs> this game is so trash. Okay, yeah, it's all right. Let's go ahead and sign back the legend Taylor Heineke. 
He wants one mil a year. Okay, sweet. That's it, one mil a year for our starting quarterback? Not bad. And then we will sign Al Quadin Muhammad. That'll be our last signing. And then we will get right into the next season. I'm not even going to worry about the other guys that didn't sign. Frack him, dude. This might be the last season of this experiment with Taylor Heineke on the Colts. Didn't do bad year one. Not bad at all. Did pretty good. He should be our starting quarterback, hopefully, unless they put Easton ahead of him again. Yep, they didn't. Okay. Dang, he went up four overall points. <laughs> Let's go. Taylor Heineke's goon. Let's go ahead. We're just going to send him to playoffs this time. I'd like to wait to see what their record is once we hit the playoffs, if we make the playoffs. Which we did last year with Taylor Heineke, so I think we can again. If you guys want to check out my other videos, I did do a Dak Prescott simulation with the Colts. And Taylor Heineke's simulation has gone better than Dak Prescott's has. Or did. So I was very surprised. I did a couple of simulations with the other quarterbacks. Oh, this time around, though, we did not make the playoffs. We went 6-10. and ten. Heineke popped off! What? Oh, my. Okay, he had threw way too many picks. Oh, he almost pulled a James Winston. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> 26 touched, or twenty six picks. Zach Pascal had over 1,300 yards. Okay. But Taylor Heineke, 4,500 passing yards, 28 touchdowns. But he was crazy on the picks. My goodness. <laughs> that was not <laughs> that was not what I was expecting. But anyway, if you guys did enjoy this video today, don't forget to drop a like and hit the subscribe button. Turn on post notifications for videos like this. With that being said, it's your boy Salvation.